You must be Peter. Fine. My turn. Keeps getting better. How many more bones will you crush? Now I'm the bad guy. She wouldn't even have a fly. Villain review time. It's time for Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. Is he yet another boring MCU villain? Or is he one of the franchise's better ones? Today on the 148th episode of Villain Review, I will be breaking him down to find out. And a whole new crew. These guys have a family. I have a family. I'm all in on this. I could lose my house. I think Vulture's whole origin can be described with this brief clip. Garbage day! Huh? No! Ah! When we first meet Adrian Toomes in the film, he's the hard-working owner of a salvage company tasked with cleaning up the Avengers giant mess they made from taking down Loki. It's a big job that's probably going to earn him some sweet cash, so naturally he goes all out. He buys more trucks, gets extra men, and everything is going smoothly until Karen shows up and tells him, sorry bro, you don't got the job. Instead, she says that the government and Stark Industries have teamed up to collect all the good stuff that Loki's posse left behind. Losing his job and needing a way to support his family, Tombs would keep some of the alien tech and use it to make futuristic weapons that he could sell on the black market. Man, good times. Do you remember this? When Tony Stark made villains actually had good motives instead of like, oh, frick Tony Stark, he named my, my program Poop or something like that. The way Toombs is set up to be a guy that just wants to provide for his family, it's actually pretty good. And they do a good job of representing the working class struggle in a world with aliens, magic, and bad motion capture. Normally I hate villain motives that are all about the money, but here it's actually solid and it helps that we see him with his family later on because it's clear that he really does care about them. So we fight all their wars and everything, they don't care about us. We have to pick up after them. We have to eat their table scraps. As far as personality goes, I think that Vulture is one of the film's best characters. He's a complicated dude who means well in what he does in regards to wanting to help his family and employees, but as per usual with villains, he gets a little lost in the sauce. I do sympathize with him, especially at the start of the film, and it makes sense how he justifies a life of crime. He wants to support his family and he does that by starting his own company. He tried doing things the honest and upstanding way and look at where that got him. It's like Star-Lord's ship because it got him nowhere. So if trying to do things legally isn't going to work, why not try something else? Especially when the big people he keeps talking about don't really seem to care about the little guy. All of this is capped off with a phenomenal performance from Michael Keaton who portrays this guy really well. He plays all sides of the character perfectly when he is the family dad, the most intense Uber driver since Joe Keery, Vulture, everything. I also like that he does have morals. He has sort of a code, and I always respect a villain with a code. Even when the rivalry is at its highest, he thanks Peter for saving his daughter and even offers him the chance to walk out of their conflict. And when Peter saves him at the end, he honors that by not giving up Peter's identity. It makes him feel like a real person who just got dealt a bad hand. Under different circumstances, he probably would have been a pretty good dude. <laughs> Rewatching the movie, I was actually pretty surprised with how much screen time Vulture gets in the film. The opening gives him a pretty lengthy flashback and explains how he became Vulture and what events led him to do that. It is one of the nice parts about not having to do the Spider-Man origin for the millionth time, the fact that we get to dedicate a lot more time to Vulture, and all of that background makes him a lot better. After his first scene though, he pops up here and there, but there's not any really noteworthy scenes for the middle of the movie. There are some cool ones, like the fairy, it's kind of cool, things like that, but nothing crazy. Until we get to one of my favorite scenes in the movie, the big ol' plot twist. When we see Adrian open that door and Peter just like shits himself, it's pretty crazy. I think both actors do a really good job here, both giving awesome performances without speaking. I love watching Toombs piece things together in his head as he's driving to the school, and Tom Holland does a great job of showing all the complex thoughts that are going through Peter's head upon this discovery and all the crazy implications that come with it. It's a fantastic scene, probably my favorite in the movie, and by far the thing that I remember the most about this film. The last fight is cool. Yeah, it's yeah, it's cool, I guess. Sure. I'll kill you and everybody you love. I'll kill you dead. 
Adrian Toomes is actually not an angel. He does a lot of bad things, and he has kind of an anger in him that pops up every once in a while. Kind of like good CGI in modern Marvel projects. When one of his dudes disrespects him in the beginning of the movie, his first instinct is to throw hands, and we see that kind of energy multiple times throughout the movie. For the most part though, he's just committing crimes, nothing particularly evil though, and he does break the law with semi-good intentions. Then again, he does evaporate this guy down to the fucking molecule, so that's kinda evil. I know it's on accident, but that doesn't really make it any better. Oh god. I think Vulture is definitely one of the MCU's most underrated villains. He comes from a time where the whole I'm mad at Tony Stark villain wasn't that played out, and I like that he's more of a low threat villain. He's not trying to destroy the world or like bring back Nazis or anything like that. He's just trying to rob a plane, okay? That's, it's very simple stuff. His motive is simple, but it's effective, and his actual character is great, of course capped off with an always good Michael Keaton performance. He has a decent amount of screen time, but the only scene that really stands out to me is the one of him and Peter in the car. I think he is a pretty solid villain and deserves a lot more credit. I'm gonna give Adrian Toomes, The Vulture, an 8. Hey, Pedro. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit subscribe because I make a new villain review every single Monday. You don't want to miss a single one. Let me know what you think of Vulture in the comments below and of course who I should review next time. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.